place where creatives connect, cultivate and support each other's artistic journey. Today we have the lovely Kerry Bruce. <laughs> Good morning. Welcome Kerry. So Kerry is an impressionist, an abstract impressionist based in Kiama. So let's get straight into it. Kerry, tell us, were you always a creative person? I think I have been. Yeah, I've I've always dabbled and um, always have, yeah, I have. Were you creative as a child, Kerry, when you were growing up at school? Well, I had horses, so I was forever drawing my horse. So I got very good at drawing horses and animals. Oh, that sounds great. It's a difficult, yeah. really difficult subject matter, horses. Yeah, and, and like late now, like my cows, I, as soon as I paint one of my um creative cows which are usually pink and covered in aqua and quite beautiful they um yeah they're very popular so Kerry when did you decide that you wanted to be an artist when you were growing up you went to school what happened after that when was it the time that you said yep I'm going to be an artist or maybe you always were I think I've been painting and dabbling for a long time and then when my youngest was in primary school that's when I, I started to think, well, yeah, okay, I'm playing comp tennis, I'm, you know, doing this. And I wanted to try myself at art school to see whether I'd like it, to see if, you know, we, I connected with it. So I went casually for 12 months and I absolutely loved it. So I then went um, and did my full-time advanced diploma and studied for four years straight. And since then... I, th I think it's been about two decades now and yeah I'm definitely a full-time artist I paint nearly every day um the gallery is actually taking a lot of, it makes me work every day as well so I've got a lot of behind the scenes things with that as well yeah talk us through the gallery so the gallery is based in Durangong the Fern Street Gallery that's right so we opened um 2018 in at around October and we started off with a handful of artists. The idea behind the, the gallery, I think there's a couple of galleries like this around Australia, um, was to facilitate artists and have an artist run gallery um, where re we have a team of resident artists and they are part of the gallery on a permanent basis, their names on the front window. So we started off with a handful of us. There was four or five to start the gallery off in the October. And we're now a team of nine. Um, we've just grown stronger and stronger. We've got a great following. The artworks that we've got in the gallery and the team of artists that we have in the gallery are amazing. Um, we all have a point of difference. I'm lucky enough I get to hand pick them all. So, you know, I, I make sure that I've got artists that are coming on board that have got a personality that will work as a team. And their art has, a point of difference to everybody else's art in the gallery. So we've got a good variety in, of um, art to choose from for our collectors. Wonderful. And do you, uh, I see you're surrounded quite beautifully within the composition on screen <laughs> with your art. Do you paint um, at gallery or is your studio on your own premises? I have studios that I've got a, my own private studio. So um, the gallery is, uh, yeah, we don't paint at the gallery. It's three rooms full of art. So um yeah, and we hire the gallery space out to, to visiting artists. So I've got um, my, I'm booked out now till May next year with um, exhibitions changing every two weeks. So um, starting from, yeah, I've, I think I've got five or six spots for 2022 and then I'll start opening up my books for 2023. So we're, we are getting a, a reputation of being a good art, a, a good art gallery to um, exhibit in and yeah, we're an award-winning gallery too. We won the uh, Regional Tourism Award for New Business in um, 2019. Excellent. Congratulations. That sounds really good. Uh, all this happens, of course, just in your spare time, I assume. Uh, yes, <laughs> yes. Got nothing else to do but do enterprises and, yeah, paint. No, it does. It takes a lot to get into one of those um, awards to actually be accepted. So. And so when you plan your art, Kerry, well, well, how do you plan your art? Because it sounds like you're pretty busy every day. You've got gallery, family, 
yeah. uh, you know, your own painting? How do you organise yourself? Well, I seem to get, I'm a morning person. So I'm up pretty early. Mm -hmm. If the sun's beaming through this studio, I can't help it. I'm out here. So if I can get a couple of hours in each morning and then I'll do my some paperwork and some book work and I've got social media that I have to keep on top of with um, the gallery as well as mine. Um, I also run art retreats and workshops. <laughs> so, yeah. Yeah, you're a busy lady. I am busy. I am busy. But you wouldn't have it any other way? I wouldn't, yeah. And I've got a really great support with my family. They love what I do. Um, yeah, no, it's... It's, I've got a good, uh, yeah, I've got a, a nice balance. I try and keep myself balanced. I think that is the key word, balance. It is a key word, yeah. So I do Pilates as well. And uh, yeah, I take time to switch off occasionally. Wow. <laughs> That's really nice to hear. And I'm, I'm a little jealous, but um, let's move straight into materials. I'm looking around, you know, the backdrop there. Yeah. And, um, you know, we don't want to give away all your secrets here, but could you just talk us through, especially when it comes to workshops, what materials do you focus on? You know, there's some beautiful, beautiful colour palettes behind there. You predominantly acrylics. Talk us through. When I'm running workshops, yes, I'm predominantly acrylics. But while I've been in lockdown, if I've got time, I paint in oils. And I've painted in oils the last two weeks and absolutely loving it again. So... Um, I posted a, a piece up yesterday morning and uh, by lunchtime it was sold. So, wow. yeah. so the oils are popular as well. Um, but no, when I'm running my workshops, we work in um, acrylics and they have a nice list of acrylics to purchase. I get them all to buy their own. So that way they, um, when they go home, they've got all their supplies and they can, they can keep creating and, you know, exploring what they learnt in the um, art retreats. We have one coming up in Mudgee in about three weeks. I'm oh. not sure whether it's going to happen or not. Yeah, yeah I know. that's right. Fingers crossed. It is fingers <laughs> crossed. And yeah, we have. I haven't been out to Mudgee for ages. Where everybody's looking forward to it. The the retreats booked out with um, eight ladies. So yeah, it's, very, it's things that we are very much looking forward to. And I'm going to remain very optimistic and say yes, it's definitely going ahead. Yeah. Um, we have to think that way have to think that way and yet luckily for me the ladies that are um coming to the retreat aren't in any lockdown um, areas I'm probably the only one at the moment um I'm in the Shell Harbour area so um yeah I, I'm I'm confident that we should be right and I yeah I've been at home so yeah <laughs> and most of the others are out of the the area of lockdown so Right. They're keen and yeah, Mudgy's fine. So as long as they're happy to have us out there, we're happy to come. So Kerry, the focus of your art, if anyone ever looks at any website or uh, Insta post of yours, is beautiful, bright, luscious, colourful florals. I know. Uh, but you I also do that. other things. So maybe you can talk us about talk to us about um, the themes that really dominate your art practice. I think my cows and my flowers. Yeah. I've painted a few horses as well, but they're in a very abstract way. Um, but yeah, the cows. There was one particular cow, her name's Dairy Queen, and she's just been the best <laughs> cow for me. <laughs> she's um, pink and I'll never forget painting her. I was painting with my mum up in Barrel and they were a, an older crew and they kept coming around and they're watching this cow come together. And they, this one man stood back and he goes, I'm trying to work out how you're going to make this pink cow work. And I said, just give me time, Tony. It will work. It will work. So he watched it evolve and, yeah, it was quite, it, it's a beautiful cow. I'll have to send you a photo. Yeah, I'd love to see a photo. We'll have to post that photo. Definitely. Yeah, yeah, no, her and name's Dairy Queen. So she sold to, actually, um, a lovely friend of mine who owns a dairy farm. Perfect. Yeah. Still working. <laughs> <laughs> Florals, Kerry, um, I saw lately that you're focusing on natives at the moment, but why flowers? I don't know why flowers. I just feel like they've got a nice, they've got movement. They're not stiff like a cup or a teapot. They've got energy about them that I like. It's And the different shapes, like the eucalyptus leaves and the, the gum leaves, they've all got different 
a different point of interest to bring to the floral. And like I said, no matter how many times I paint that floral, it turns out different every time. And it's an abstract version of it. I think that, yeah, there's a floral behind me and it's in beginning stages, but um, limited palette in that one. And yeah, it's... I think one of the things that I noticed too, Kerry, is scale for you. If anyone's ever seen, you know, it's good to see a picture of Kerry next to her artworks because they're pretty big. Some of them are pretty. Nice. I'm looking at that one across the studio. I'm still working <laughs> on that one. And uh, yeah, it's um, it's a big piece, that one. And I, and can't I would imagine it. when you're painting in your big scale, from my experience, is you use your whole body to get into that. And, and that's part of the exciting thing, right? Yeah is that it's not just this tiny little thing with your hand, it's this big uh, expressiveness, which is, is luscious and comes through your work too. Oh, thank you. Yeah, no, and it is. It's like conducting an orchestra. Oh, so great way to say thing, I, I try and get my um, students to really loosen up and imagine as if they were just flowing it through with the orchestra and, um, yeah, and it, I like painting that way too. I've always got music in the studio too, so it's, yeah. It's, it's a nice piece to paint and you can just make so many different marks on a great big piece. You've That's, got no boundaries. Yeah, so true. It does open up possibilities. Yeah. Um, can I ask, because um, we have sort of talked through how you schedule your time, but when it comes to time and you have a, a schedule and sometimes it just, you wake up and that light's coming through the window and you just think, I just don't think I have it in me today. Does that actually happen to you? It doesn't sound like it does, but does it happen? If it does, what do you do? If it's cold, like if it's a cold day, um, I do like painting on nice days, I've got to say. Um, and luckily, the last couple of weeks, we've had some butte days. So, mm. but there is days. Yeah, of course there is days when you wake up and you, I've got too much in my mind that I have to get done on the computer and that overtakes what I get done in the studio. And that that is difficult. And I think there's a, a current misconception lockdown that people just think, oh, you're so lucky to be a painter because you'll just like paint yourself, you know, silly <laughs> for the however long it is. And it's not always the yeah. case, you know, you're not always in that mindset. There's a lot of pressure on artists during lockdown as well to keep yeah. things afloat. So it's not just about painting. That's right. Well, I've got the gallery closed at the moment um, because we're in such a close proximity to all the lockdowns, no one is about down there. So there's no point having anyone in the gallery. And I want to try and keep the gallery safe until we open back up again as well. So we're going to open up with a big bang on the 17th and 18th of um, July and just have, I'm going to go down and run the gallery for two days and we'll have a group show. Fantastic. Because most of the artists are in lockdown and they are all painting. So we should have some new work to go in. Oh. Go the <laughs> no pressure, artists, no pressure. Yeah. <laughs> Give them an email this morning. They know all about it. <laughs> we'll have hey, to Carrie, how do you tackle social media, the social media platforms? What do you use and how do you use it? I use Later. Mm-hmm is a program to schedule my Instagram um, files for um, promoting the gallery. And the last, uh, the last nine days I promoted, um, had a full day on each artist. So I put three posts up each day of the artists in the gallery. My social media, I used to pay, um, post every day and uh, it sort of gets put to the back burner sometimes. And then I notice, when I do start posting again, I get a lot of interest again. So I've been posting the last couple of days because I've had time. That's yeah, great. it does yeah. come down to time. It does. So Instagram and Facebook and Pinterest are my main um, platforms that I post to. Okay. And, and what is, that is the challenge, you know, finding the time. Sometimes we have the images to post, but it's just a matter of putting it all together. And we yeah. like to, as artists, I think, um, prioritise painting. Um, but what is the greatest challenge as a painter for you? The greatest challenge? Oh, geez. I don't know. Going to that florist and making sure I don't take the whole florist with me. 
<laughs> mention itself. Yeah, because yeah. the garden we're at at the moment, it, we, there is no garden. So I'm looking forward to getting um, blooms back into my garden. Um, my I was from a farm, so I had five acres and yeah, we've, we're moving into a beach house. So we're, we're doing a big lifestyle change. Harry, does that mean you, does that mean you were a gardener back when you had? Yeah, and I think that's why the blooms have taken off as well. Like I always had roses, camellias, peonies, um, all the annuals, the, the bulb flowers in winter. Like I love, I love flowers. And now my florist loves me. <laughs> I bet, I bet. This is a reoccurring thing I'm seeing happening with a lot of artists that paint flowers is that the garden is very much like a studio in the fact that it's about the foundations that you lay in the ground, the soil that you put in, all that preparation that a lot of people wouldn't see. But it's very much like being an artist, I see, is very similar, that sort of nurturing the canvas and thinking about things and seeing what flows from that and working with it seems to be something that comes from people who are gardeners as well um that's part of the joy right the that's part of the journey yeah yeah like I, I even though I go to the florist to get my flowers I create all my arrangements mm -hmm. so and I have like when we, I go out for a retreat we usually I take a bucket of flowers out like proteas and I you know I spend a lot of money on flowers to go to these retreats so that we've got a beautiful variety of shapes and um, energy in the in the arrangement that we're painting mm. so what do we have sorry uh, what do we have to look forward to in um, terms of the Kerry Bruce art journey uh, ahead art journey well Kerry's um journey is continuing with Fern Street Gallery. I'm the owner and the director down there. So I've got a great team, like I said before, and our future is looking great. So I'm prepared to keep going with the gallery for as long as, um, for as long as my husband will let me. <laughs> so, yeah, I think, um, Harry, one of the things that we admire about you is your support for community of artists, which is why we're doing this. Yeah. And um, we've got experience from other people that are uh, from Jenny McIntosh in your gallery <laughs> that you really put a lot of energy, like your works and your artworks, yeah. a lot of energy and joy into supporting those artists and helping them get out there. And that's to be admired because that doesn't happen. Everyone doesn't do that. And mm -hmm. I think that that joy radiates not only from your paintings, but it must radiate in the gallery as well. It does. That's what I mean. We've got a great team of artists and everybody is going well. Like, and that's, that makes me feel good because I've, you know, we've started this journey off and, you know, we've got a good team together now and everybody's getting success out of it. So it's, it, we're all sharing the love. It's good. It's great. It's a good feeling. It's a beautiful gallery, beautiful little gallery. We're on the front street beautiful window no it's really good i'm looking forward to making the trip myself when we're on the other side of this camp. Uh, yeah i know it's so i feel like we take two step forward and then all of a sudden we've got to go back again yeah but where we we are adaptable though i think we're, we we're, are we are adaptable that's why i'm I, at the moment like I'm still optimistic that we will go to Mudgee in a couple of weeks time and um, have our beautiful retreat that everyone's been looking forward to. Cause like these are a lot of planning, a lot of work goes in behind the scenes for these. It's um, accommodation is booked um, and I make sure everybody's in their own room with an ensuite. Um, I get a caterer in to do all the meals. So it's, it's a lot of planning and like my schedule for the retreat too. So buying supplies, getting them all organised prior to the event. So I'm, I'm all organised. I, I completely understand there's so much that goes on behind the scenes. If people want to book in advance for any future or put their name down on a waiting list, where do they contact you? If they just go to Kerry Bruce Art, they'll, they'll find a, um, a sign-up newsletter or they can email me and put their name down on the list and that, that list goes into a VIP list and they're the first ones to know about the new retreats but 
all the information's up on my website. Um, all the retreats that I've got at the moment. I'm booked out for the October one. I think I've got one spot left in October. And that's it for this year. I only do a few a year. Like, it's not as if I do them a lot. Mm. But, um, yeah, no, they, and they, they are a great week. I've had, yeah, I've met beautiful people. I'm so lucky. I get to meet some wonderful artists, some wonderful beginners, um, who are a little bit skeptical about coming oh my god they like they book and then they give me a call closer to the time i'm worried i'm not going to be good enough and i'm going i'm saying no you will be fine i said there is no mistakes in art i said we'll be able to work through any mark you make on that canvas and we'll turn it into something i said so don't don't put the pressure on yourself enjoy the moment enjoy the retreat you're going to meet some beautiful women and you're going to have a great time so I live up to that and they they do enjoy it. That's fantastic. So Carrie, if we want to find out all about this and your artwork, it's pretty much we go to the website. We will be putting contact details down there for you and Carrie's contacts of Instagram and Facebook as well. Okay. Um, but it's all, all all on the website? It's all on the website. Yep, everything is completely up to date. I haven't got anything booked in for next year yet, but I'm about to book a mud, another Mudgy retreat in April. Um and yeah, it'll evolve through the, throughout the year. But um, I, I sort of book, once I've got the one year booked up, I, then I'll, I'll look at the, the next year um, closer to Christmas. Yep. Well, for those watching, um, it's a great excuse to take a trip when the lockdown is over down to Gerringal. I've and, got people um, coming all over the place. Yeah. For, yeah. yeah. Super excited. Look, lots of things to look forward to. That's the beauty of these galleries, you know, you can plan a weekend or a couple of days away and we're going to really need this on, um, you know, when, when the dust settles. So we'll let you get back to painting, but thank you so much for um, being on Art and Up today. It's thank you. Great. Thanks, Kerry. We uh, look thank forward to seeing both. more of your bright, beautiful, lush florals and the cows. <laughs> I've got a cow in the motion at the moment. So yeah, you'll see one soon. Excellent. We will look you up to um, follow you on social media and look forward to seeing that cow. <laughs> Thank you. Thanks a lot, Carrie. Thanks, ladies. Yeah. Have a great Bye. day. Bye.